Now, I'm going to add what I would do next is I'd ink it. So I'd add a new layer to and switch to the ink pen, which is this one. Um, yeah, so now I would need to decide what kind of effects I wanted. I, there is an inking preset that is quite useful, which is not fully installed. Yep, so that's there. This is the one I used while I was inking most of this drawing. So you can change all the settings over here to get different effects. And you can also download a complete package file of presets for ArtRage Lite. ArtRage 5 has the same ones, but it also has some extra ones. You, whichever one you install will show up in both Lite and ArtRage 5. So I uninstalled everything so that there weren't any confusing presets while I did this tutorial. So these are all the, the brush presets that are in here for the different tools. Um, so this is the ink pen in the middle here. You can choose which ones you want. So I'm just going to install everything. And there we go. So yeah, that, that was not pack package file, so now I have a duplicate. So you can work just from presets, or you can experiment with the tool settings. There are some settings that you need to change as you draw, and these are smoothing and taper length. And the reason for that is because they look different at different size strokes. You see there? So you can change the size of your stroke by clicking here or dragging on there, but it only goes up to 100, or by holding shift and then dragging all the way up or all the way down. Like that. And art rate will go up to 500% in art rate light. So then you start inking these using whatever settings you like, and maybe that's too sideways. You can see it's quite thick, and maybe I want less dramatic tapering. Or maybe I don't want a round brush, I want a sideways, a thin brush like that, so I would change the aspect. Uh, and add a bit more taper to smooth out the ends. If you adjust the pressure, it lets you control how much it changes as you draw with pressure around your stroke. Um, like that, 50% is gives you the widest possible range because it can go down to zero or up to 100. If you want a very fixed line, stick it at 100 and use aspect and taper length to control. Uh, don't stick it up to 100, sorry, stick it up to about 90 because it's still got to be, have some space to move inside that. Uh, as you can see, you just keep inking until you're happy with it. I'm pressing Alt to rotate the canvas and right click. You can also go up to the canvas positioner here. Uh, this was added in the version 5.04 update, which was quite recent. If you don't have this, you need to update ArtRage Lite. Uh, you can do that in the member area on our website. So, yep, so as you can see, nice smoothing, nice taper makes it very easy to get different effects. Uh, you'll want different weights for the hair and the eyes and whatever you're doing and rotating makes it much easier to get certain strokes so i want to draw that curve there uh, if you want to do a curve push away it makes it much easier and if you want to do a nice straight line pull towards you straight down now see that taper you don't want that taper there it looks weird so you turn the taper off and just use pressure to do that the pen will also tilt as you draw, which you can't always see, but as you tilt the pen, it will tilt. If you don't want tilt, you probably just want to stick the aspect up to 100 so there's no visible tilting. You can um, you can turn the tilting off completely in ArtRage 5, but this doesn't have advanced stylus properties, so you can't do anything with it. So let's just assume I've drawn my whole layer. Yeah, just hide that. I'll press D to get this back in the middle like that. There are lots of keyboard shortcuts. They make it a lot easier. Uh, I don't even use this very much because I know what all the keyboard shortcuts are. 
uh, you can go to edit set keyboard shortcuts to browse all the ones for our age. So in here you can see how to jump between the different tools, some tool size changes, pressure even, stuff like that. There's a lot in there, you can change them. So now I have my ink layer, I do not need the sketch layer anymore. I mean, you can like map out the shading areas on a different layer if you don't feel very confident or you need, know they need to go in a certain place. Uh, I'm just kind of winging it, so 